I'm Jill Baird. Thank you for joining me today for a all on the floor, deep stretch, just feel good yoga practice. Um, this practice would be perfect for before bedtime or towards the end of the day to unwind. You can do it anytime. You could even do it on an active recovery day. Um, I suggest maybe turning the lights down low. Uh, maybe playing some really soft, gentle piano music. You might want to have a couple of blocks. You don't have to have the blocks, but if you have them, go ahead and grab them. And join me in a cross-legged seat on the mat. If you have particularly tight hips, say your knees are way up here, you might find it nice to sit on a block or a pillow. And go ahead and close your eyes and bring your right palm to your, or your left palm to your heart and your right palm to your belly. And just begin to settle in here, allowing yourself to arrive not only physically, but as mentally as you can on the mat. And some days that's easier than others. And I don't want you to spend too much time on whether today is one of the days when it was easy to make it to your mat or if today was one of the days where it was more difficult to make it to your mat. I just want you to celebrate the fact that you made it to your mat and you're giving yourself this opportunity to unplug from the fast-paced, constant world around us and just take a little time to, for introspection, a little time to connect back to yourself and a little vacation for the mind away from constant notifications, constant emails, constant demands, and just allow yourself to be. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose, fill up completely, and an open mouth exhale, sigh it out as powerfully as you can, and relax your shoulders away from your ears as you let that breath go. Deeper, fuller inhale, expanding your entire body with the breath, and a longer open mouth exhale as you empty out. Relax your neck, relax your eyebrows. And let's take one more cleansing breath. Deepest, fullest inhale yet, noticing your chest rise and your belly expand. And the loudest, longest, most powerful open mouth exhale with control, empty out completely. Go ahead and blink your eyes open, bring your arms down by your sides, and on an inhale breath, reach those arms up, fingertips reaching towards the ceiling. Maybe the palms touch. And on your exhale, we're gonna twist towards the right, left palm finds the right knee, right fingertips find the mat behind you. Broaden through the collarbones on an inhale, and as you exhale, drop that right shoulder just a bit more into its socket. Perhaps your gaze goes back over that right shoulder, if that feels good on your neck. It is early in our practice, maybe your gaze stays off to the right. Inhale, use your core, reach those fingertips back up overhead, and as you exhale, twist in the opposite direction. And again, inhale broadens the collarbones, exhales the shoulders relax down and back. Inhale the crown of the head lengthens towards the ceiling. And exhale twist, gaze towards the left. Inhale, come back through center. And as you exhale, bring the fingertips back to the mat. And I'm going to bring the block out from underneath me for this next um, sequence. And then we're going to switch the cross of the legs. So I had my right leg in front first, so now my left leg is in front. And then on an inhale breath, go ahead and bring those fingertips back up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, the right palm is going to find the mat. We're going to keep the left hip anchored to the mat. And we're going to bend into that right elbow as we stretch up and over towards the right. Gazing underneath that left arm. Chest spirals up towards the ceiling. Inhale back through center. Exhale, switch it out. Left palm finds the mat in line with the hip. Bend into the elbow. 
lift and lengthen up and out of that right side body. So the right side body is lengthening and you're shrinking the space on the left side body. How far can you comfortably reach those fingertips over towards the left? And then inhale, bring the fingertips back up overhead. And then exhale, bring the palms down to the knees. Just take an inhale breath here. Maybe close your eyes. And as you exhale, drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Stay for the inhale. And as you exhale, carefully drop your chin towards your chest. Stay for an inhale breath. Stay for an exhale breath. And then on your next exhale, go ahead and drop that left ear towards the left shoulder, lengthening the right side of the neck, keeping both shoulders drawn down away from the ears. Stay for the inhale. And as you exhale, bring the chin down towards the chest. And as you inhale, gently blink the eyes open and bring the head back over the shoulders. We're going to come into a tabletop pose, so carefully make your way onto all fours. And we're going to come into some hip circles to the right. So go ahead and walk your palms out about a palm's distance from where they were. Take an inhale, and then as you exhale, drop your hips towards the right heel. Circle them over towards the left. Inhale, left hip towards left wrist. Right hip towards right wrist. And then right hip towards right heel. We're going to take two circles in this direction. You don't have to move at the same pace as me. As a matter of fact, I invite you to move at your own pace, taking an inventory of any areas that might feel a little sticky, and maybe hanging out there, breathing some space into those spots that have a little bit of tension. And then inhaling again to come forward. And then pausing as that right hip and left hip come forward. And then this time on our exhale, we're going to take it in the opposite direction. So left hip towards left heel. And then the right hip towards the right heel. And then inhaling as we come into this almost cobra shape as the hips draw forward behind the wrists. And then exhaling over towards the left, just letting it feel good. So it feels good in the low back, feels good in the hips, feel a little bit of a stretch in the core as you come forward. And then we'll all meet back in a neutral tabletop pose. Go ahead and bring your knees wide, big toes to touch, sit your hips back onto your heels, and walk yourself forward into a child's pose, bringing your forehead, maybe the tip of your nose, down to the mat. On an inhale breath, tent up onto your fingertips, lifting your elbows away from the mat. And as you exhale, lift your forehead, walk both hands over to the left. Maybe the right hand rests on top of the left if you can keep that right hip and the right heel connected. And just notice that opening down the right side body. Maybe you even imagine bringing in that breath from the tip of those right fingertips, slowly dragging it down the right side body into the right hip, and then slowly pressing it back out that same path with your exhale. On your next inhale, walk both hands back through center. And as you exhale, if you don't have a snoozing senior citizen dog next to you, walk both hands over to the right, doing your best to keep that connection between the left heel and the left hip as the left palm comes on top of the right. Forehead can come down to the mat if you have the space. And connect back into your breath. Inhale for a slow count of five as you picture with your mind's eye that breath coming down the left arm into the left hip. And then trace the opposite path back out to the body. On an inhale, walk the hands back to center. Exhale, sit the hips back just a little bit more. 
and on an inhale, come up into a tabletop for some cat-cows. So hips over knees, shoulders over wrists, lead with your tailbone. Inhale, lift the tailbone, lift the gaze, cow pose. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, pull the belly button back towards the spine, cat pose, chin in towards chest. Inhale, cow pose, tailbone lifts, collarbones spread wide, and the gaze finds the ceiling. Exhale, cat, tailbone draws under and then down towards the mat. Chin draws in towards the chest, gazes back towards the belly button. Inhale, cow, tailbone lifts to the spot where the wall and the ceiling meet behind you. Chest opens, gaze lifts, and exhale to our last cat pose. Tuck round and curl, maybe press the shins into the mat. And then inhale back to a neutral tabletop position, and exhale once again into a child's pose. This time we're going to come into prayer hands if that's accessible to you. So flip your thumbs up towards the ceiling. Bring your palms into touch. You could bring your blocks underneath your elbows if you have them. And on exhale, bend your elbows. Bring your thumbs to the base of your neck. And then just gently inch your elbows forward. Just a really nice opening in the triceps and the backs of the shoulders. Using the breath to stay right here, right now. And then lengthening the arms, walking them back to shoulder width apart. And on an inhale breath, come back up to your tabletop pose. Go ahead and walk your hands back out a palm's distance from where they were. We're going to come into a downward facing dog on our exhale. Tuck your toes, draw your hips back towards your heels, and then lift your hips up and back to the ceiling, to actually the spot where the wall and the ceiling meet behind. So this is the highest we're going to be away from the ground, away from the mat in our entire practice. And if it doesn't feel right to you, you can come back down into a child's pose. Invite you to take a nice deep bend in your knees, bring your belly towards your thighs, and pay close attention to the length that that creates from your fingertips to your shoulder blades. Draw your shoulders down away from your ears and spiral your underarms down towards the mat so that the eye of the elbow comes up towards the ceiling. Lift your hips up and back. Take an inhale, take an exhale. Maybe you pedal your feet. Maybe you wag your tail from side to side. And on an inhale breath, come way up onto your tippy toes. And as you exhale, drop your heels over towards the left. Give an extra press into the right palm as if you're pressing the mat forward and away from you. And just feel the nice opening down the right side body. Inhale back up onto the tippy toes. And then as you exhale, heels fall to the right. Press the left palm into the mat. And then just lift the hips up and back, noticing the opening in the left side body. Inhale back to downward facing dog and exhale back down into a tabletop pose. Lift the right hand and draw some circles with the right wrist. And then when you bring it back to the mat, fingers face back towards your knee and maybe you shift forward and back. If that's too much, you can have the fingers facing east and west. And then go ahead and return the right palm to the mat. Lift the left palm. So keep your core engaged so that you're not swaying from side to side or collapsing into the low back. And then when you return the palm to the mat, the left fingertips face back towards the left knee. And again, just sort of shift forward and back. And then bring the left palm back underneath the left shoulder. Go ahead and bring the right thumb to the right shoulder. Inhale, lift the elbow up towards the ceiling. Fingertips reach towards the ceiling. And then exhale, thread 
the right arm underneath the left, coming to rest on the right shoulder and the right temple. Walk the left fingertips forward, doing your best to keep your hips directly over your heels. Or maybe you take a half bind with that left arm. Think about peeling the chest open towards the left side and eventually up towards the ceiling. Go ahead and bring the left palm back underneath the left shoulder. Unwind, peel the right fingertips back up towards the ceiling, and then bring the right hand back to the mat. We're going to pivot. I'm going to pivot towards you. Extend your left leg directly out to the left side, and we're just going to sit the right hip back towards the right heel. Come back over the right hip, Sit the right hip back onto the right heel. We're going to do that one more time. Inhale, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, sit the right hip back onto the right heel. And then inhale, come up to a flat back. Engage your core and bring your arms out like a T. Draw your tailbone under. Inhale, gate pose. Walk the left fingertips down the left leg and reach the right fingertips up and over towards the left. So again, we're creating a closing of the left side and a nice opening of the right side, especially in these intercostal muscles between the ribs and the QL muscles in the low back. Draw the right thumb back. Inhale, come back up to center, and exhale, we're gonna take a modified side plank, either right fist or right palm to the mat, underneath the right shoulder, and then stretch and lengthen the entire left side body. So this time the right side body is shrinking and the left side body is lengthening. On an exhale, swoop those fingertips down and come back into your tabletop pose. And we're gonna take that thread on the left. I'm gonna stay facing you. Bring the left thumb to the left shoulder, peel the elbow up towards the ceiling, Inhale, fingertips reach towards the sky, and exhale, thread the left arm underneath the right, coming to rest on the outer left shoulder and the left temple. Walk the right fingertips forward directly out of the right shoulder and drop the right underarm towards the mat. Feel that opening in the upper back, or you can take the half bind if you did on the other side, taking the right fingertips to the left hip crease. Pulling that right shoulder back to spiral the chest towards the right side, maybe even up towards the ceiling eventually, depending on the openness you have in that shoulder. And then bring the right palm underneath the right shoulder. Come back up. Reach the left fingertips up towards the ceiling and come into your tabletop. Extend the right leg directly out of the right hip. Take an inhale breath here, shoulders over wrists, and exhale, press back into the palms as you sit the left hip onto the left heel. Inhale, neutral, shoulders over wrists, and exhale, sit it back. Heel, or hip, in the direction of the heel. So feeling a really nice opening in the inner right thigh. One more time, inhale, center, and exhale, gently sit it back. So a nice opening in this quad on the left as well. Inhale, come back to center, shot, stack your shoulders over your hips, relax the shoulders. Inhale, gate pose, walk the fingertips down the right leg. Left side body lengthens, chest spirals up towards the ceiling, tailbone lengthens towards the mat below you. Inhale, center, and exhale that modified side plank. So an, another excellent place for a block underneath that supporting palm so that you can really give a good press into the pinky edge of that right foot and feel the opening from that pinky edge of the right foot all the way to the right fingertips. 
spiral your chest up towards the ceiling as you guide that right thumb back just a bit. And then exhale, swoop it down. And we're going to come back into a tabletop. And you can flow through some cat cows if that feels good. Fiona, come back over here. Just resetting the low back. Come back to a neutral tabletop, and we're going to step the right foot up, coming into a crescent lunge. So sweeping the arms up overhead, stacking the shoulders over the hips, tucking the tailbone under, noticing that deep opening in the left hip flexor as you guide that right hip back and lift the left hip up. We're going to drop the right hand, another great place for a block, over to the side. And we're going to stretch that left arm up and over, keeping the shoulders and the hips squared to the front of the mat as you open up that left side body. And then inhale back up to your crescent lunge. And we're going to come into a hamstring stretch, a great place for two blocks. So lengthening that right leg, flexing the right toes back towards the knee. You can scoot the left knee back a little bit if it feels good, but you certainly don't have to. And again, I want you to bring that thumb. Let's really focus on that dragging back and down of the right hip. So bring the thumb to the hip crease. Flex the toes back towards the chest. Chest lengthens towards the toes as the shoulders drop away from the ears. And you can keep hands on either side of that right foot, or if you bring both hands to the right side of the right foot, you're going to feel a deeper opening, not only in the back of the right leg, in the hamstring, but also in this outer hip glute as well. So it's up to you, and then if you want the hand there or here, I invite you to play around. And then kind of just wiggle, pivot side to side on that right heel. It's amazing the different places you can feel the stretch just based on the placement of the foot. Make sure the shoulders are relaxed. This is a spot where they tend to creep up like earrings and we tend to tense our face. See if you can relax your face. Maybe lift the corners of your mouth into a smile. And then on an exhale, just bend back into that right knee. And then we're going to bring the right knee back underneath the right hip. And we'll step the left foot forward, coming into that crescent lunge, sweeping the arms overhead. And then we're going to take that stretch over to the left. But before we do, let's check in. Make sure that the front ribs are knitting in towards one another. They're not opening this left hip up or down and back, and the right hip up so that our hips are level. Grab the clock, bring it underneath the left palm, underneath the left shoulder, lengthen up and out of the right side body, and then reach up and over towards the left. So you should really feel a nice deep opening in the front of the right hip, and in the hip flexor. Chest lifts towards the ceiling. And then go ahead and come back up to center. And we're going to straighten into the left leg. Flex the toes back towards the knee. Maybe you scooch the right knee back a little bit. Lengthen the chest towards the toes. So rather than thinking about forcing your knee down towards your shin, I want you to think about lengthening your waist out of your hips and then melting the belly in the direction of the thigh as you lengthen the chest towards the toes and the toes back towards the chest. And then if you want to play around with the hand placement, you can bring that left or right hand rather over to the block. And then you can make those little pivots on the heel, maybe finding that place that feels just a little bit stuck. And then finding a little bit of movement there as you breathe space into the muscles that feel like they could use a little extra love. Remember, toes back towards the knee, 
chest towards the toes, pivot on the heel, and then go ahead and come back onto the knees. Let's go ahead and move the blocks off to the side. And we're going to come on to our back. So use your core. Legs can be straight or knees can be bent to roll back onto your back. And hug your knees into your chest and rock side to side. And then go ahead and bring the left foot down to the mat. Cross the right ankle in front of the left knee, coming into that figure four. And before we move any further, think about guiding that outer right knee out. Take an exhale breath and peel the left foot away from the mat. And then hands can interlace behind the hamstring or in front of that left shin if you can comfortably keep the backs of your shoulders and your neck on the mat. And then use your mind's eye to find that right hip and guide your breath there. The inhale breath expands the hip and the exhale breath peels that knee open just a little bit more. And you can stay here or if you'd like to take a twist, we're going to bring that left foot back to the mat. We're going to cactus the arms and the feet and the legs are going to stay exactly as they are as the left knee and the right sole of the foot find the mat. And your gaze can stay up towards the ceiling or you can gaze out over the right shoulder. And then when you're ready, with an exhale breath, use your core to bring yourself back to center. Unwind, drag the knees into the chest. Inhale, rock side to side. And then exhale, the right foot finds the mat. The left ankle finds the front of the right knee. And guide that left knee open. Stay really active in this left foot. Um, in the ankle joint, flex the toes back towards the knee. Don't just let the foot collapse. That's important in opening up the hip. And then coming into a deeper figure four stretch, you can interlace the hands behind the knee or in front of the right knee. If you can do so without wrenching your neck, shrugging your shoulders. And again, use your mind's eye. Use that mind-body connection to find that left hip and to guide the breath into the left hip. Use your mind's eye to find that outer left knee and press it towards the top left corner of the mat. And you can stay here or you can come into the twist. Gently release the sole of the right foot to the mat. Cactus the arms. And the knee and the sole of the foot are going to fall to the right as your gaze makes its way to the left. Slowing the breath. And then an exhale breath brings the right foot back to the mat. Uncross the ankle, hug the knees into the chest. Find the opposite elbow with the opposite palm as you curl up into a tight, tiny little ball. Take in the deepest breath of gratitude for yourself here, for doing this thing for yourself, for breathing and moving and connecting to your body so that you can step off of the mat better than you came onto it. An open mouth exhale is going to find Shavasana. Give a little press into the back of your head. Shuffle, snuggle your shuttle. That's a new word. Snuggle your shuttle.